basically anytime ice melts it's because it's surrounded by increasing temperatures right so global warming temperatures throughout the world affect the air and the water and when you have a glacier at the polar ice caps this increase in temperature tends to cause glaciers to melt glaciers usually flow into some other kind of water body either it's a glacier lake or the ocean right and what happens when global warming affects those waters it warms up the water and where the glacier meets the water actually melts the glaciers from underneath as well as the warming temperatures from above so when big chunks of ice break off and collapse as they sometimes do the rock that they were sitting on previously are now exposed to the sunlight often for the very first time and this hard dark rock absorbs a lot of the heat that comes from the sun this creates what's known as an endothermic reaction and so the hot rocks transfer the heat further upstream underneath the glaciers again so now we have another factor that's melting the glaciers from underneath so all these three dynamic events are causing the glaciers in the polar regions to melt. The goal of any kind of mitigation activity is to reduce the heat that's impacting on these glaciers, right? So in order to do that, of course, global warming temperatures have to come down. And one of the main ways we're trying to do that is to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. So cutting back on fossil fuels, for example, is one way of putting out um, methane and carbon and all these uh, dangerous uh, greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. And converting to something more sustainable and renewable is a way of maintaining that reduction. So we don't have to go back to the fossil fuels. And of course we have the sustainable development goals. This was an excellent initiative taken by the United Nations and signed by every country in the world. There are 17 goals and if we follow each one it is estimated that by the year 2030, we will have reduced our global temperature increased to only 1.5 degrees Celsius. Without these 17 goals in place, the scientific community estimates that our global temperatures will increase by 4 degrees. So I think the SDGs is, is another great way of, of trying to, to keep the planet a little cooler and to keep the, uh, the glaciers intact. We have the capacity to replace fossil fuels with affordable and sustainable alternatives already today. Solar power, for example, we have electric power for our cars, and we have wind power for our energy. The challenge is convincing industrialized nations to abandon um, the fuel sources they traditionally used in the past and today and adopt the new technology. If we can find a solution that makes a profit for companies without costing more to convert than we should be able to do. Everyone recognizes that, that climate change is heading in a direction that is dangerous for everybody. And people kind of generally understand that, even if they don't specifically understand that, right? The other problem is people don't really know what they can do about it. So they're kind of sitting back, hoping that some bigger organization, whether it's a company, an NGO, or a government, will step in and say, here's what we're all going to do from now on in order to stop this, uh, this trend that's leading to our annihilation. I think by following all 17 of the sustainable development goals in general, that's a good step. And in particular, reducing your own personal carbon footprint whenever possible. And, and that, that means you have to educate yourself as to what behavior and activities you're doing that cause a carbon footprint in the first place. Something like flying on an airplane, you know, that leaves a very significant carbon footprint. And can you get to the same destination another way? And if you can, um, that would be one way of doing it. So finding out what causes carbon footprints, the use of plastic, all these sorts of things, try to find that out first, find out what you're doing to contribute to the problem and then find an alternative way so that you're no longer contributing to the problem.